Hi there folks, welcome back to my channel. For this video, I've come back into Glasgow and I've actually come back to Pollock Park. This time I'm actually going to be going to visit the Borough Collection, which locally and I think in the West Coast of Scotland generally is referred to as the Borough. So if you ever hear them doing they're talking about the Borough, they're talking about the Borough Collection. So uh, the building itself has actually been shut for six years. They're doing a massive refurb on the building. So even though I've been to the borough on uh, quite a few occasions before, it's my first time being back at the building because the, 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 today when I'm filming is actually the day that, I'm, uh, that the building actually reopened to the public. So hopefully this will be a good little visit. Hopefully this will be uh, a lot of kind of new insights and ways of seeing the collection. So I'm going to grab a bag in a minute and head on out. And before before I do that, if you enjoy my channel, if you enjoy my videos, then click on the subscriber button, click on that notification bell, leave some likes, leave some comments. It's always really appreciated. And if you'd like to support the channel further, I will post a link to the channel's coffee.com page and the channel's TikTok account in the description bar below and in the pinned comment in the comment section. So with that at the road, I'm going to head on over to the Borough Collection. So this is the outside of the Borough Collection. Yeah, the way in used to be up that way. But they've now made, made this a new entrance. even more of the collections and they do have uh, some interactive touch displays over there and throughout the collection I certainly have forgotten how big this place is, even though most of the collection is on the ground floor. There is a first floor and a basement, uh, or a lower floor, and most of the collection is on the, the first floor, or the ground floor. And they do pack helpful in, that's for sure. And there's like always a whole lot of different rooms that you can go and see, all these little different collections. Yeah, if you go up to, I think it's the first floor, they do have this collection of stained glass, which they've placed up against the one of the gallery's windows, so you can actually appreciate the colour in these stained glass window panels. And I do love the fact that you do get these vantage points where you can just look down onto the lower level 
and see things like the artwork from a different perspective. And you can sometimes uh, spot bits of art that, art that you might not have seen before. You might not have spotted from lower down. This uh, restaurant. And once you've been around the borough, you can always treat yourself to something lovely from the gift shop. Well, that has me back from a little visit to the Borough Collection. And again, with it having been closed for the past six years, you do forget how how much they have in the collection and how much space they have and how much of a war in the, the building actually is. Yeah, even though the building is not dark or uh, claustrophobic in any, in any way, there's all these little different bits that you can go and visit and that, that little sections you can go and see the different things that you can uh, learn about and they definitely do utilize the space really well i think without feeling without making it feel cramped or overcrowded and it's just one of those good places that i would definitely recommend if you are interested in history if you're interested in uh, archaeology uh, or anything like that definitely come along and see the borough collection and again with it being in Pollock Park you can see the borough collection you can explore uh, Pollock Country Park you can see Pollock House and yeah you could easily spend all day in just this one little bit of Glasgow and not get bored so yeah I again really glad that I came along today for a little visit especially with today being the day that it reopened so this is the 29th of March uh, 2022 and yeah it's a just great to get out and visit the borough collection again so hopefully you will all have enjoyed this video hopefully you will all be intrigued by the borough collection and I'll see you all in the next video bye bye